Hello, this is Ishmael Zadi and welcome to my Java tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to load um, images using a JList. And yeah, so that's it. This is the application that we're going to create today. So when we click on Ibrahimovic, it gives us a picture of Ibrahimovic, Neymar, Ronaldo, and Ronaldinho. Okay, so yeah, this is going to be done. All right, so let me just get cracking. These are the JFrame properties that I'm going to use. Um, you can use anything that you want, this doesn't really matter in this tutorial. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to crack in. First thing we're going to do is create a JList. JList list equals new. Actually, let me just start that again. List, and it's going to accept string. And list equals new JList list string. Okay. And we want to create a J panel for our image. Panel equals new J panel. Panel. Okay, so Control Shift O to import everything, and we want to create a J label for our images. Images for actually it's meant to be label. <laughs> label for images. Okay, equals new new J label. Okay. What we're going to do next is we're going to create a hash map because we want to associate each string with a file. Okay, we don't want we don't want to co overcomplicate things and you know, and whenever we click something, it has to search for if if it's Ronaldinho or whatever. So the best thing to do is create a hash map or a tree map, and I'm going to use that with a method hash map and leave it as it is and we call it data okay let's say um actually i don't need to create a method let me just keep it short hash hash map and it's going to accept a string okay it's going to accept a string you can choose to go image icon or you can just go go string for the file path okay and we're going to go data equals new hash map yes and we're going to go string string and bam that's it okay and control shift to import it and what we want to create next is the default list model this is we're going to add everything not everything but this the, the key value of the hash map into the list model so we go default just go go here because we want to just pass it in straight away list model and we're going to go string excuse my typing string and model equals new default list model okay string <laughs> uh, today's not my day for typing all right so model I'm gonna pass it in and yeah so what we're going to do in the constructor is we're going to add data to the hash map okay so we go data put and we're going to put let's say Ronaldo make sure your um, file is inside the project Ronaldo is the way I'm calling it right now I'm not putting any specific path and let's put one more I don't want to consume some time Alright, so let's go Neymar and let's go Neymar dot Neymar dot there's no capital actually Neymar dot JPEG, okay? And what we're gonna do is create a loop that we only add the key of the hash map, we don't add the value. Okay, so we want to add Ronaldo and not add the the file path. Okay, so what we do is create a for loop for object x. That's the name of my, f you know, it's like I in the ordinary loop, and we're going to loop through data dot key set, and we're going to go model dot add. I'm going to write add element element x and it's an object so you can either cast it or you can go string 
dot value of x okay and let's just do that okay so let me add that to the to the j frame so we got this dot add and to add a list you go j scroll bar or scroll pane and we got list and it should display our items in our key values okay so it did it so now we want to do is create a listener for our for our list so we go list dot add what am I writing list selection listener and we go new and semicolon control space bam done okay and we go e control delete to remove that generated comment if e get adjusting value then what we want to do is get the images to be displayed on our uh, J panel so what we're going to do is let's just do this real quick let's say this dot add let's say panel okay and we want to add it underneath there and we go space panel dot add label for images okay label for images all right and let's just remove that so what we're going to do now is create a for loop similar to the one that we created um, here so for object x data key set okay and we're going to create an if statement so if the item selected um, does equal um, the key set and if it's met we um, we basically load the image so if list get selected value okay equals x then what we want to do is go label label for images dot set icon to new image icon remember if you used image icon you don't need to write down new image icon okay so you just need to but here I'm just going to call in the path so you go new image icon and we're going to call in the data the data get x okay so it's going to get the value of x all right and what we want to do, control shift O because image icon is not available. So what we want to do is add it again to the J panel. So panel dot add label for images. And what we want to do is make sure um, we uh, repaint. So we go repaint and yeah, I believe I'm done. Let me see. Control delete this indentation let's run it real quick yeah it works oh yeah one thing is now let's leave that we don't need to pack it yet <laughs> all right so right now um, I believe I'm done however when we hit um, up and down it doesn't update it only updates when we click on the item okay so we go Ronaldo Neymar so what you're going to do is add this knot here all right and um it should enable that functionality in for mac users it's on by default i don't know why but yeah so ronaldo i'm i'm not using the mouse here the mouse is there and i'm just using that okay so hopefully you guys understood what i've done it is all to do with the hash map because we add ronaldo and we create the path for it so we don't need to create some additional stuff and yeah that's it for this tutorial i hope you understood it and the uh, code will be provided in this description and thanks a lot guys and take care